The major GPU shortage doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon, but there are some other components in stock such as CPUs and mainboards and RAM for example that will also be profitable for mining, so if you're looking to build another PC, these might be a great option for you. Today, I'm going to be exploring some great CPUs out there that are profitable for mining and also great for other tasks as well. Stay tuned. Okay, so CPU mining. Which are some of the best CPUs out there that you can use for mining and for other tasks as well? Right off the bat, it's always a conversation about Intel versus AMD. And I'm going to tell you straight out that for mining, AMD will be ahead. They've got more cores, they've got larger level 3 cache memory. So that's going to be great for mining and it's going to help it to achieve a higher hash rate than most of the Intel CPUs out there for the same price point. So if we just take a look at an article here, the best mining processes, it's always going to be the AMD Threadrippers and the Epic ones that are normally found in servers. The Threadrippers are 32 cores with 64 threads. The disadvantage with these are that they are very power hungry and expensive with a TDP of 280 watts. Now this can achieve around 20,000 hash per second, the Threadripper 3970X. There are quite a few options. I'll be putting a link to this article down below as well so you can have a read through this. If you were to go for something like a Intel Pentium Gold or a Celeron processor, I would not recommend using that for mining directly with the CPU. I would use one of these processors for a GPU mining rig instead because it will have a lower wattage. It just has 54 watts, for example, this Pentium Gold G6400. It's cheap to buy, it's cheap to run, so that would be ideal for a GPU mining rig and not to mine directly on it. If you were to mine directly on this, it's only got two cores and it's going to give you around 1200 hash per second. There are also the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X. These have six cores and 12 threads and they'll do around 5000 580 hash per second. My CPU is an Intel i7-5820K and I'm getting 3300 hash per second, so 3.3 kilo hash per second. So it's got the same amount of cores, same amount of thread, the base clock is around the same, mine's 3.6 not 3.8, but the difference is quite significant here with a difference of around 2200 hashes more than what I'm achieving and this has a TDP of 95 watts while the one I'm using has a higher TDP as well. I'm using 150 watts to 200 watts when mining with a CPU on my entire system. So these AMD Ryzen 5 chips and Ryzen 9 chips now as well have a great advantage when it comes to efficiency and mining. And obviously, if you're going to be doing other multitask work as well on your PC, then you're going to be using less electricity as well, and you're going to be getting the same great performance and more with the CPUs. Now, there are also the Core i9X series, 10900X, for example, which is the 10th generation, not the 11th generation. This has 10 cores and 20 threads, but it has a TDP of 165 watts. This has a hash rate of around 5,500 kilo hash per second. The Celeron, again, would be great for a GPU mining rig, rig. and then there's the Ryzen 3 3100. I'll let you read through this article and tell you which one I would recommend for mining and even for other multitasking work as well. My recommendation for mining, if you're thinking about building a PC anyway, then I would keep an eye out for a CPU that could have great performance when mining as well. And in my opinion, this would be the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core processor. There is the 5900X 12 core processor as well, 
but it's about 200 euros more expensive and you're still going to achieve the same hash rates and probably the same performance as well. So do keep that in mind. Locally, these CPUs, I can show you a scan website here. They cost 500 euro for the 3900X and there is an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, the one that we just discussed, it's 689. So there's almost a 200 euro difference price point right there. The one I'm recommending is the 3900X, which according to the XM Rig benchmark website, I'm going to put a link to that down below as well, can achieve 17,000 hash per second. That is really awesome. Probably this is overclocked. Now the 3900X does come with a fan. AMD call this a Wrath Prism RGB but I don't know if that's going to be sufficient enough for cooling if you do overclock it. I am intending on purchasing one of these in the future because I am intending to build another PC anyway. I would not recommend buying a CPU just for the purpose of mining. If you need to upgrade your PC, if you have a mainboard with an AM4 socket, and you want to upgrade just the CPU because you were going to upgrade it anyway, then I would recommend this CPU because it's not only great performance, it's low power as well, and it will help in your mining hash rates as well. So I think that is great and a great value all round. Now, if we were to calculate what this would do, if we quickly jump onto unminable and just choose a coin here, I'm gonna choose Dogecoin, random x because that is what cpus are mine and let's say it does 17,000 hash so for 17,000 hash you would be making around 3.6 dogecoins a day and at the moment the markets are in a decline so with 3.6 doge per day the current price of dogecoin is around 26 cents eight let's say 27 euro cents so for 27 euro cents it's 27 times 3.6 and you're going to make roughly one euro a day before electricity costs that is when you mine dogecoin let's just quickly see if you mine ethereum using random x okay so if you mine ethereum and you're doing random x at 17,000 as well you're going to be making around 0 0.0005 eth a day so if you calculate that ethereum is at 1800 euros so 0 0.0005 times 1800 and that will give you around the same around 90 euro cents a day before electricity costs electricity it all depends on what it costs in your region as well here it costs around 13 cents per unit so if i calculate that the whole system will do around 150 watts times 24 hours that's 3600 so division by 1000 that's 3.6 okay so i'm going to be using 3.6 units times the 13 cents so it's going to cost me around 47 euro cents in electricity and I'm making around double that so it is profitable with your CPU however keep in in mind the electricity costs and the cost of the CPU that is why I'm not recommending to buy this CPU just for mining and obviously buy it because you are going to upgrade your PC anyway but keep this in mind because it will help your hash rates as well so if you're looking out for a CPU keep that in mind as well now I'm going to show you also in this article there is an in this Intel i9 it's 165 TDP but it's got 10 cores and not 12 cores but if we were to look up the 10900X under the random X okay 10900X that is lower in the placing and it does around 6000 hash per second just to compare one of the Intel CPUs 
with, which has around the same amount of cores. Okay, this has 10 cores. This has a base clock of 3.7 gigahertz and it's giving around 6,000 hash per second. While the Ryzen 9 we saw with just two more cores gives you more than double that. It will give you around 17,000 hash per second according to the benchmarks of XM Rig and this website. So I did uh, come across a few articles where the Ryzen does do definitely 15,000 hash. Probably you'll have to play around with the overclock settings to achieve that. So the 3900X, out of the box, this CPU will achieve around 13,000 hash per second. Here it's stating 17,000, but that's probably with overclocking and maybe better cooling than the Wrath fan that comes with it. So do keep this in mind guys, if you're looking to upgrade your PC and you're going to need to buy a CPU mainboard anyway, currently these CPUs are in stock, there is no shortage on CPUs and mainboards and memory at the moment, it's just GPUs that are the issue, look out for these because they will not only be great for daily tasks but they will also be great for mining as well. I do hope that you found this video useful. Do let me know what CPUs you are mining on down in the comments below and what hash rates you're getting. Also, be sure to check out my Mine Faster with CPU video in the description above or in the link below. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and thank you to all of those who have subscribed already. Hit the notification bell for more. Take care of yourselves and thanks for watching.